headed to Pechanga and we're trying to get some hydrogen before we go. It's about uh, 70 miles or so, I think. Uh, but we try to go to Diamond Bar, just try to get in offline. And the guy said it's been down for a couple days. So we're gonna be going to Placentia to fill up and then head over. A detour for sure, but this is what you have to live with when you have a hydrogen car. Just got to Placentia online, but we have a row of two Gen 1 Marais, and there's a couple more over there, Gen 2. But yeah, this station, for everyone that doesn't know, sucks the most because the nozzles are extremely difficult to get off. And you can see here, there's this driver that's helping the driver in front try to get it off. So I think they're trying to pull, but you have to push the handle in and then pull with the, or maybe they tried that already. Yeah, this station for everyone that doesn't know is the worst experience I've had so far with these nozzles. So right now Sam has gone to help the woman in the front who has trouble removing her nozzle and it looks like it's not really working um, so it looks like it might be stuck pretty badly yeah we'll see how this goes but again this is one of the the downsides of this particular station and and you know sometimes having a hydrogen car in general all right, just got to the station. We are at 149 miles range. We're gonna fill up, just got to Placentia. Here we go, open up the tank. Just open it up, remove the cover. I'm gonna insert the card here. go uh, do it again this is at the true zero station still by far my least favorite because again these nozzles are the worst here for some reason and apparently their POS system doesn't work let's try it again No receipts. Put in my zip code. So I just put in my zip code. I'm using. You did it. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna connect. So it should snap on. There we go. Oh, H70. Now we're pumping. So compared to Diamond Bar, Diamond Bar is 20 bucks, 20 bucks in change for H70. It's 23.75 here. So it's definitely pricier. So there is a difference. So this is also something that happens. It's not full yet, for sure, I know. And it's telling me it's done. So I'll go through. Just push in. Okay, that was a lot easier with this newer nozzle. Try that. Should end the system. Seal complete, but it's not done. Let me restart this. this again here are the prices yeah, again it's not working
I'm inserting the card, it's not reading. Okay. It's my fourth time, remove. Looks like it's reading it now. Should say no receipt or no receipt, yep. No receipt and then zip code. Pump ready. Disconnect the nozzle. So for those that are curious, yeah, this hydrogen station normally sits between regular gas pumps. So there's one. But these guys are filling up. We're right in the middle. All right, welcome everyone to Mirai Club. We are getting ready to go to Pechanga for a couple days. We'll be staying down there, but we're out in Placentia, the station at the moment, gonna fill up. Uh, Diamond Bar was offline, so we came down here. Um, and yeah, so this is my least favorite station uh, for the reasons I explained in the video, but uh, so far, but yeah, it's definitely more expensive here. 23.75 for the hydrogen uh, and it's about $20 for the diamond bar stations. That's the air products. This is True Zero. True Zero is probably the one most of you are familiar with. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head over to, to uh, Pechanga. It's about a 70 mile drive. Uh, throughout the week, we're gonna be driving from various places, doing grocery runs and whatnot. So this is pretty much all the hydrogen we're gonna be running until we get back home. So we'll let you guys know and kind of document the whole trip. So uh, yeah, let's go. We're about wrapped up with filling up here. We're at uh, F6 usually means it stopped. Uh, 36, it was about $20 before. We're about half tank. Um, so I think that should be good enough. Nozzle. What we should do is The station is the worst, has the worst nozzles, so everyone knows. So usually, from my experience, you push in with the handle, with the left hand, and you pull with the right. Okay, that was better. Yeah, these new ones are a lot, a lot easier. Just like that, it's over, cap on. In the car, Let's see what our range is. Two ninety nine, three hundred, pretty much. Let's go. Can I have a uh, medium? Okay, medium and you know we recommend it sweet and creamy. Is that okay? Yep, sweet and creamy is great. All right, what else can I get for you? And then, can I get a, a Hot Fill Harmonic Small, please? Hot Fill Harmonic Small. What about cream and sugar for you? Uh, just black, please. Okay. And so that's can it. I, that's it. Can I get the name on the order? Sam. I'll see you up here at the window. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, everyone, we're in the car. We just got our Phil's coffee. Just got a little coffee break before we head out. Uh, we are gonna head over to Pechanga now. We are in the Kelsey Fullerton area, so pretty close to that hydrogen station uh, for those that are familiar, but we're gonna head down. It says we are about 55, 52 miles, and let's get started. This is the inboard uh, Toyota navigation for those that are curious. It works pretty well for the most part. Um, yeah, it usually doesn't take this long. All right, no facility information. Let's type it in, let's try that. Um, so you could usually do voice command or type it in like this. You can't type when you're driving like most cars, but all right, let's try the first one. 
Here we go. Good. And this system works pretty well from our experience. All right. What's our ETA? About an hour. Not bad. 64 miles. Here we go. The route guidance will start now. All right. So a little bit of backstory when I was helping out that lady at the gas station. So what she had done is she had filled up. C A 91 East. She had, uh, she was filling up and then she didn't want to fill up full tank. So she wanted to stop the fill. And what she did to stop the fill was actually push down on the nozzle holder. So the little um, kind of tab that lets the machine know that the nozzle's back in that holder. She just pressed that down versus pressing the stop button. And so I believe what that did is just the machine thought that the fill up was done and the nozzle was back in. So there's no need to release the nozzle anymore. So it was stuck in there. So there was no way we we're gonna pull that thing out. Um, so what I told her to do, which did end up working, was pay again as if you were to fill up again and just pay like a dollar or, or just something to get the machine going and then um, stop it with the button and then try to pull it out. And it did work, so we got her back on the road. So yeah, a little fun, fun little story. All right, we just got to our destination. We have 242 miles left range. So we went about, what, 50, 57 miles or so? 57 miles of range. So about par, um, but yeah, just got to Pachanga. See you inside. day two uh, not the greatest luck for me uh, during the first day of gambling but uh, we are gonna go grab some food and whatnot we have not moved the car um, so I just want to document um, kind of all the mileage during this trip to get kind of a holistic view of how it is to drive a Toyota Mirai to Pachanga so we're gonna go uh, grab some food maybe grab some supplies at a grocery store or whatnot but uh, let's go A lot more dead on Tuesdays. Which grocery store are going to? Probably Albertsons or something. Cedar Rooms.
All right, we just got back from eating some food and got some groceries. Got 218 left. We turn off the fan. 236. So we're about to head back to Pachanga. All right, we just got back to Pachanga with 215 miles left or 233. So pretty much very little mileage used. But we're back. All right, everyone, it is day three at Pachanga. Um, we are gonna go grab some lunch. We're gonna go to In-N-Out. It's pretty close by. Uh, I think it's like an eight minute drive. So what is that? A couple miles probably. But uh, yeah, we're gonna head over there, grab some food and then uh, come back. So let's get in the car. is 2.33. Let's go to in and out Just wrapped up at in and out Let's head back to Pachanga. everyone we're headed out to grab dinner we're gonna go to Phil's barbecue second time going but we're gonna driving this time Let's see how much range we got this is again day three 228 all right we just got to Phil's we are ready to eat and we're at 223 range I'll find some parking the turning circle on the Mirai is not great, so just so you guys know. So we're at Phil's, and when you get close to a car, it automatically turns on the front camera. Let's go. Alright everyone, we just wrapped up at Phil's. <laughs> uh, we're about to get back in the Mirai. Uh, let's go back to Pachanga. Let's go. Catch that on camera. Reactions are awesome. Get in the car. Oh, you're still recording? Yes. Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh wow, this premium Mirai service. Mirai. Mirai. I'm a water monkey. Just got back to Pachanga from Phil's and a quick pit stop at the ATM. Uh, 212 miles left. We are back. All right, now it is day four. We're leaving Pachanga. We have our two carry-on bags here and they're pushed all the way in. Just so you guys can get an idea of how much little storage capacity there is. This is a Timbuktu backpack full of my work stuff. Let's put in the cooler first, bag cooler. Slide this all the way to the back. You can see it barely fits, probably three carry-ons, um, things like that. But yeah, I could fit my backpack on the side in there. But yeah, storage is not the strong suit of this car. Here we go, let's start the car. Foot on the brake, power button. And the range we have left is 213 and we're gonna head to Norco's for some uh, Thai food first but yeah 213 plenty to go home let's go
proceed about one mile to River Road. Let's go. Just finished the Thai meal. We are going to Dutch Bros in Corona before we head back to Diamond Bar Roland Heights area. There's the first gen Toyota Mirai. Just got to Dutch Bros. So we're in the drive-thru of Dutch Bros. So if you see these dividers or whatnot during a drive-thru and you're not sure if you're going to make it, you can hit the camera button. I believe it turns off after you go over 10 miles an hour, but you can see where the concrete is. You get a three above 360 camera. So if you're a little nervous about the turning circle, which the Mirai has a terrible turning circle, um, you can just make sure here. And then so you don't hit your wheel just got our Dutch Bros front camera one word all right we are back home and we have 144 miles of range so we went to Pechanga uh, Phil's bar or did an errand, went to the grocery store, ATM, went to Phil's barbecue, and I think that's it, right? Yeah, and then small stuff, but then we are back with 144 miles left on the Toyota Mirai. Thanks for watching. We're gonna head inside now.